Well, love bugs, here we are. I am actually on my lunch. And I'm sitting here just a little, just overwhelmed at all of the discord out here in these YouTube streets. And I know that right now it really seems like we are all, some more than others, just so emotionally invested that we really cannot see the forest for the trees. And even if I had considered like, okay, you go live and what would you say? What is there to say? And I'm not sure that everybody is at a place where the environment is conducive to reasoning. And so what came to my mind is says, whoa, inclusion guru, you've dropped the ball, right? Let's get back into Goddess Black Woman. So if you've not had the opportunity, I really want you to go into the tab that says Goddess Black Woman. And that's the beginning, the introduction of the book. And then there are three videos out there. Please pay attention to the corresponding page numbers that will just give you an opportunity to listen to the book up until this point. And I just don't stop with the momentum after this time. Okay. But the last time, if you go, and if nothing else, just go back to the very last video. I think it was pages 24 to 27, and that'll kind of get you up to speed with where we are right now. Let us make woman the self-analysis. All right, now, are you ready? Ready for what? Are you ready to let us make woman. How do you want to make her? Let us make this woman in the image and likeness of divine. Why? Because she's already divine. We just have to make her know what she truly is so that she can be what she truly is. All right? All right, then. Well, be and it is. Just be, and it is. Let us make woman. Let you make you. Let you make a new woman. Let you recreate yourself all over again in the image and likeness of a goddess black woman. We have veered off the path, love bugs, and we have the power and authority to recreate ourselves, to regroup, to get back on track at any given moment. And I'll continue to say that we are brothers and sisters. Back to the book. You are now like unto a genetic engineering scientist in that you are a character engineering scientist. You go into the seed core and coding of your own heart to cut out character traits that are not of God or righteousness. And you place in those that are. You are recreating the character of your being. Let us make woman. Let us make woman. Let us make goddess black woman. Proceed with the purification process. As stated before, we want to look into the mirror of our own conscience. We want to see our own self-reflection. Or we want to use our minds to reflect about self. Let's put a pin in it right there. We are so busy pointing our fingers at what everyone else is doing that this right here you're listening to this and you are all by yourself. And this is about looking at me and the areas in which I might improve or make corrections or continue to develop. Back to the text. And in order for you to sincerely analyze and evaluate the self, you must mentally step outside of your own personal point of view, okay? Now, to do this, just simply visualize yourself from someone else's perspective. Walking up to meet you for the first time. Go ahead. Visualize this in action. 
take an honest look at you and assess what it is that you see, who are you? What do you see? Do you like what you see? Take a look, look at her, walk up to her, talk to this person for a while. Do you see reflected in this person the same qualities that you respect in other people? Who are you? Come on now, visualize this thing. After interacting with this person, do you admire the qualities and characteristics that you see in this person, which is you? After looking and talking to you from the perspective of another person, what do you think about you? Are you the type of person that you would respect, admire, and seek as a friend? Answer that question. That is an extremely important question. So please read that again and again and again, because the only way that you can truly love and respect you is to be what you truly love and respect. Go ahead, read that again and again and again. And then go write that down on something where you may see it and read it every day. So put this somewhere, guys, as we put a pen right here, write it on your bathroom mirror. A lot of times I put things there when I want a daily reminder. Go ahead, for real, go write it down and we can continue as soon as you return. Wait, as a matter of fact, I'll write it down for you. Here, just take this next whole page and photocopy it. Tack this paper to your mirror, your refrigerator, your wall, your door, or someplace where you will see it every day. But you go and write it down yourself until you get the chance to photocopy it. This will be our affirmation for life. And I'm gonna place this on my wall because you're gonna see that the only way that you can truly love and respect you is to be what you truly love and respect. Gaining a knowledge of self through self-talk. Now look, we're all on a quest for knowledge of self, but that doesn't mean that you're just the history of our people. That also means a knowledge of the personal history of yourself, which reveals the real contents of yourself to yourself. That's a knowledge of self. What is it that you've been through that made you who you are today? That's what we're talking about, self-reflection. Not about nobody else out here, goddess black women. Self-reflection. Back to the text. So let's look at who you are right now today that you may determine who you want to be and who you will become tomorrow with the help of God, Allah. To know the self, one must look at the self, self-reflection, to contemplate about self. Self-reflection begins with questioning self or to quest into self, communicate with self, converse with self, sit down and have a discussion with self. You won't be insane if you do this, but you may stay insane if you don't. They say that every healthy relationship is based on good communication. So how else can you establish a healthy relationship with your own self if you don't sit down and have a good talk with your own self every once in a while? <laughs> no, I ain't crazy. You just listen. I said, how else can you establish a healthy relationship with your own self if you don't sit down and have a good talk with your own self every once in a while? See, that's what happens when you're able to come and say, you know what, sis, I messed up. I was wrong here. Just in the course of my 
my profession though. I tell you, I'm a reflective thinker. I'm always thinking about the actions that I engaged in that day, what could have improved, what went well, what might I change the next time. And that's what helped shape me into the inclusion guru. Back to the text. You've been living with you for all these years and you don't even know your own self. You act like strangers. You don't even speak to one another. You have no real relationship with one another. You don't even like to look at one another. You always trying to get away from around one another. You're always trying to get away from the reality of you. This is because you don't like you. And this is because you have no knowledge of self. You can't learn to like somebody that you refuse to even sit down and talk to. You never know. You might like you after all, once you get to know you. So start getting acquainted. Don't be ashamed. Talk to you. Get to know you. Ask yourself some questions. See if you're even worthy to have a relationship with you. Do you like who you are? Are you attracted to what you are? How can you become that which is attractive and respectable to your own self? Let's put a pin in it right there. It says, if I don't like what I see, if I don't like who I am, then how can I become that which I desire to be, that which is attractive to me? Sit down and have a little conference with you. Get things straight between you. Cross-examine yourself. See if you are all together who and what you say you are. See if you are all together who and what you say you want to be. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Look in the mirror of your conscience and cross-examine yourself and your behavior. Ask yourself a few questions of self-character. Find out who you are. This is still the interview, the inner view. We want to know self. We want to know the good, the bad, the good and bad of our character. We intend to clean up the bad and enhance the good through this self, next self-reflection process called character cleansing. It's only an introductory character cleansing, but it will be a cleansing. It will be a process. We do intend to open up the heart of your character and the brains of your thinking. How else can a doctor operate? And you are the doctor. You are the scientist of character cleansing surgery, and all of your character illnesses must be made manifest to you before you know what to cleanse. Can you handle this type of open heart surgery? Can you? This is what it takes to reprove and steadily improve yourself. This is what it takes to restore the goddess black woman. So let the surgery begin. And as I read the last half a page, I continue to say out here all the time when we are developing character, when it's like going through surgery and it does not feel good. But once all of the cuts have healed, right? Once all of the stitches have been removed and the pain is gone, we're all the better. Commit to this surgery, go back, read, catch up. And then I'm gonna to commit to continue. But here goes the questions, right? Let surgery begin, back to the text. Question, who are you? Answer, I'm a black woman on a mission. Question, and what mission is that that you're on? Answer, I'm on a mission to fulfill the duties and purposes of a goddess black woman, which is my true self. Question, what are the duties and purposes of a goddess black woman? Answer, my duties and purposes are to restore 
restore and replenish the qualities of a righteousness, blah, the qualities of righteousness into my own self first, and then to the masses of my downtrodden people. Question, do you have the righteous image and enduring character to support and carry out such a task-filled responsibility? Answer, I strive and struggle to reprove and improve the purity of my image, the strength of my character, and the understanding of my responsibility on a constant daily basis. Question, are you ready to discuss the first phases of character cleansing as you put forth in the second part of this writing? Answer, I am. Let's grow on. Love bugs and lot not love bugs. We got a lot of growing to do out here. And just the hurt and the discord that's going on has me perplexed. It does not feel good. It is a sad state of affairs that we are at one another's throats in such a manner and that it's getting more and more devious by the day. And I don't care what side you're on. There are some that are tired. So maybe this broadcast is only for those that are tired, not for anyone who has taken one side or the other. So for those of us that are kind of in the same camp that I am, you're tired. This is not about sides. This is about a goddess black woman. Let's do the work together. I'm on this journey right along with you, but something has to give. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday and go catch up in the event that you haven't, but there's not going going to be a long break in between the next reading because we can't afford it. Do some self-talk and have those conversations. And I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.